Hi there Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your November general. It's a monthly reading, it's a very quick message with your challenge and your blessing. Tapping into the energies, there's a future prediction in this, so do revert back to it throughout the month. If you see it at a later date, take it as a full weekly um, reading. There is also, there will be your weekly and 10 days, so I invite you to subscribe to support your readings. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign, because it's not always going to resonate with one of your top placements only. Um, if you want a personalised reading, you can email me any of my services. The email's in the description box below for energy healing, spiritual coaching, natal chart readings, um, transformation coaching, cord cutting, manifesting. Um, so yeah. Let's have a look. Capricorn placements. I've like one card come out for you. Acceptance. We'll dive into that in a moment. I've just got to reach for it. Leave something else for Capricorn placements, please, Spirit. Capricorn placements, please, Spirit. Joy and acceptance. I mean, as soon as we have acceptance, especially if we're trying to perfect something, perfectionism can stop us. We get joy coming in, don't we? So let's just look at these cards before we dive into your tarot. Acceptance can be where you're trying to be perfectionist. So in November, just look out for that. Um, it can actually hold you back in some ways. I mean, where you're, there is also a perfection card in this reading, but it's really about, are you looking at yourself in the right way or are you distorting your reality in a self-defeating way? Can you not just simply accept yourself? And like I said, that will bring in joy. Um, there's new ways of seeing yourself in November that you need to embrace and you need to embrace imperfection. Feeling incomplete and selling yourself short is going to be um, a big thing not to be doing so that you can manifest look, you can manifest what we're gonna get in your tarot and knowledge, okay? And I think, you know, a magical box of self-acceptance is going to appear before you and you're going to have your unique qualities inside. So you need to open it. Are things simpler now? Are they going to bring you joy like we see here? They, much, they do tie in with each other. And here, let's call her Dancing Daisy, represents a new joy phase of your life. It could actually be a new move, a new job or a new marriage. We'll see what comes into your or a relationship. We'll see what comes into your um, reading. And you may not see where you're going, but you'll land on your feet if you if that's the way you're feeling. Um, a conduit of joy is detached from joy and there's a higher purpose and you know a profound impact in our lives when we do that um, an improved health and birth the key words are joy playfulness and delight let's jump into your tarot because I feel like there's new things coming in for you it feels good we just need to look out for the acceptance maybe self-criticism in November Capricorn placements please spirit Capricorn placements please spirit seven of wands has come out and there's another card stuck to it The first two cards are the Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, that could be the job offer, the marriage that I was seeing with that other card. The Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, sorry, interesting, I said the Two of Swords, the Judgment, the High Priestess, wow. 
um, very much a spiritual awakening time for you. I think I've had one of your readings that said this recently as well. Looks like November is going to be like that. And it might be leading into sort of your season where Sagittarius season is your 12th house. Um, so there's a lot about spiritual exploration. But I think you're becoming, you know, you're having an awakening around where maybe you are sorting how you're seeing yourself and maybe you're focusing on your limiting beliefs or what society is asking you to do the seven of wands here is really about being grounded and being vulnerable it can also mean that um, um it can mean like you've had to challenge yourself and you you know there's a bit of competition with people around you but in a good sense you know you need to be confident about yourself it's about self-expression and being confident your intuition will be speaking to you quite highly during the month of november and you will be gaining more confidence okay you're going to be gaining more confidence as the month goes on it looks like it's a good month for you Whereas at the beginning, you start off maybe a bit dissatisfied or drawing some, you know, there's something that happens, you know, where we've got the joy before the joy comes in. You're feeling a bit bored, demotivated, unsatisfied. Well, that changes. Sagittarius. Sagittarius season seems to be, like I said at the beginning, going to be impactful for you. It's about harmonizing you, harmonizing you harmonizing where you're putting your energy into so that you have time for your spiritual plane as well and um, also don't um, criticize yourself too much if you're feeling like you need to have the rest if you're feeling like um Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You're going to be making choices. And I felt that when I saw in the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, I felt there was a challenging decision. I think you're going to be prioritizing stuff and reprioritizing stuff so that you're feeling back in your grounded element here. And there's something about your inner strength as well. There's your energy as well. Look, very strong, potent reading for you. These cards wanted to spit out together. Fast moving breakthrough. This is maybe the job offer, the career opportunity. You've felt like you've needed to be quite resilient, okay? And this tells you there's only one last little push where you're feeling like you, you know, maybe in this um, sort of feeling. You take a step back, you balance, okay? And there's a there's a something saying that you can make this because the ace of pentacles and the hierophant either the the new love opportunity as i say that i look soulmate opportunity marriage opportunity job offer is coming in for you okay this is your energy we need to not self-sabotage what i'm seeing is your energy is receiving these blessings okay so that is really good for you in November. Let's look at your challenge for the month of November. Your challenge is going to be where you might feel like you are going to be... Um, love might try to come in for you and you might feel like you're the unrequited love you know you're gonna maybe manipulate okay or maybe you're gonna look for one night stands instead um i would say don't lose something solid that could be coming in for you or a soulmate connection that you already know so just temper that and it could be around you thinking maybe that's for you right now but you, your challenge is really following your heart, really about following your heart and not giving in to anything else. Your blessing, 
is the Ace of Swords, is the mental clarity, is the breakthrough of what's coming through with the Ace of Pentacles. It's a success, okay? Um, it's a communication that brings in this new thing, whether it's the love, the job opportunity, something new, the marriage, okay? This breakthrough here and it's being delivered. There's two telling you of this confirmation. It'll move fast as well. So don't self-sabotage. Follow your heart during the month of November, okay? Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care and bye for now.